I was just going to say some practical advice. If you're still very concerned about the life of the coconut, then you make a list of things that should happen for this shell. <laughs> and make that list and put it in the altar of your heart or put it in the physical altar. For those of you with devotional temperament, it's very simple. Just label it something for Guruji to do. There's this joke about marriages which I keep telling my wife. If you told a man what to do, he will get it done. You don't have to nag him every six months. <laughs> so now, once you told Guruji what to do, he will get it done. Now don't keep saying, when, when, why? Are we there yet? <laughs> and you'll be surprised actually, if you gratefully do this exercise, You'll be surprised, you look at this list after a year or two. You will either find things where you'll say, thank you Guruji, thank you so much for getting this done. Or you'll say, thank you Guruji, thank God you didn't do this. <laughs> there will rarely be anything left for which you say, oh, why didn't you get this done yet? In India, often we say this, no? that we end our prayers, we end our invocations with Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Why do we emphasize this so much? There's the Rishanti. <laughs> and there is Shanti, and there is this peace. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti is a prayer for peace. So we say, let there be peace, let there be peace, let there be peace. Because when there is peace, the truth of what you are is completely apparent. One time someone came to Bhagavan Sri Ramana Harishi and said, with some desire. So he asked uh, Bhagavan, can you please uh, get this done for me? So Bhagavan said, you know, in this body, this body has nothing special to make anything happen for anyone. But the being that you're finding here has got unlimited power. Which being was he speaking of? Was he speaking about some special being that only belonged to him? You are speaking of the only being there is. The very one whose perfume is your presence. 